Hey guys, it's been a while, but I'm here with another animation that's up on Wrath Club. As usual, you should watch it first before seeing this video, but if you have, here you go. The primary component of this was animating one really long line, so I started with all the lip syncing and then the uh, facial animations first. Uh, I, it's cut off here and not the entire thing because this render <laughs> fucked up while rendering out of SFM, so the, the whole lip sync is not available to show, but here it is. Because <laughs> that axe you picked up is quite large, and there's nary an indication of it anywhere on your person. <laughs> it seems as though there are... <laughs> Here are the first two blocking passes I did, and that then a spline pass to end it. Unrealistic. There's no way that would happen in real life. Am I right? <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, I I'm sorry. I laugh because <laughs> that axe you picked up is quite large, and there's nary an indication of it anywhere on your person. <laughs> it seems as though there are two ways in which this video game is unlike reality. Oh, what a humorous observation I have made. Quite the gaffy, I must say, yet very comedic how this entertaining and popular video game does not adhere precisely to what we have come to expect from the physical world. Goodbye now! Now, there were three components of this entire video that saw constant revision uh, from mine and Lyle's side. The first being the uh, absolute <laughs> beginning because wow. of what we wanted to do to that set the tone and also I was not very game. satisfied with the walks, walking no animations way. I was getting in this whole thing. I ended up redoing two walk cycles for both characters like three times before I got something I was satisfied with. I was having so much trouble with the walk cycles because I've actually, if you've followed me, you know I've been focusing on school uh, for the last several months and I finally have graduated and gotten back to Focusing on what I fo want to focus on, which is animation. But I was incredibly rusty coming into this whole project, and it really showed on those f first few walk cycles I was doing. We also decided to start with that third person behind the character uh, view to make it more... To, 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 to convey even sooner that you're supposed to be seeing what is essentially a video game character. If you didn't recognize it as the knight from Dark Souls and wherever that axe is from, I forget. I'm going to put in the description where uh, the the uh, links for all the assets I used in this video. <laughs> wow. The okay, second part being the part reality. with uh, the dragon and the wizard in the background. Originally, it was supposed to have this wide video view, and then it was set to direct reality. first person from the night, seeing him, and then them in the back. The ice beam particle reality. effect is from Chow Phonetic. It is based on the Metroid Prime video ice beam. And reality. also, we had to change the uh, color of the cloud a few times because it wasn't, it was made, the original color was intended for that shot of the different angle, uh, and then when changing the angle, the cloud color ended up blending in, so we also had to change that too. And lastly is the final walk cycle. I was not really happy with it until I did it like three times over from scratch. Goodbye now. Goodbye now. Goodbye now. And of course, here is the behind the camera shots, where you can see the entire scene and how they were all set up, the white lines indicating the camera and its field of view and its depth of field, and it lets you get a view of everything that was going on behind the scenes. <laughs> wow! That's certainly unrealistic! There's no way that would happen in real life! Am I right? <laughs> and there's nary an indication of it anywhere on your person! <laughs> it seems as though there are two ways in which this video game is unlike reality. Oh, what a humorous observer to expect from the physical world. Goodbye now! And here is the audio. I tackled it like usual. I found a lot of sound effects. I actually pulled a lot from uh, Dark Souls 3. Uh, the knight inspired me to do that, and I think it was a really good idea to put those sounds together. Um, and then there was clothes rustling that's very <laughs> faint in the wow. background. I recorded it exactly that's the same as if you saw in another video There's where I was no wearing a white jacket and just rustling it to get the sounds. I did the same life. thing for this one. Right? Though it's super subtle. <laughs> oh, oh, 
Oh, I I'm sorry. I laugh because <laughs> that axe you picked up is quite large, and there's nary an indication of it anywhere on your person. <laughs> Uh, it seems as though there are two ways in which this video game is unlike reality. Oh, what a humorous observation I have made. Quite the gaffy, I must say, yet very comedic how this entertaining and popular video game does not adhere precisely to what we have come to expect from the physical world. Goodbye now! And that's it. That's how this video was made. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe for more animations coming to this channel. Uh, very fr infrequently, though. We'll see when they come out in the next few months. Uh, and other projects I am working on in the meantime. More animations I do for other people. So yeah, stick around, and I'll see you all next time.